What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris back with you with another cool little video. Um, it's been a bit, well, it's been almost a week, I think, or about a week since I've done a video. Um, I, I want to thank everybody. I know there's a few of my subs that jumped on the um, uh, live feed we had that we had done over Saturday. As I've, I've been telling you guys, uh, or at least in my last video, I told you guys about the uh, every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, or well, Florida time, depending on how you want to look at it. I'm still in the Eastern time zone myself, because uh, I live in the West Virginia, Ohio, uh, and Kentucky tri-state area. But anyway, so um, I want to thank everybody, because a couple of you guys jumped in there, asked questions. Some of you just, just watched, which is awesome. Um, but ask great questions, um, you know, just... Uh, you know, just simple comments or ask questions. And it's great. I mean, everything from, gee, what uh, magnification, uh, eye piece do you use, eye loop, depending on which I, the loops I think is the one I actually conceal and just come out and just a magnifier. But these are the ones I usually wear in their eye. Um, but uh, there's a three times magnification is the best for my screen anyway. It seems to work for me. And you guys can get these things. I think there's a set of, uh, I think it's three magnification, five magnification, and ten. So it's a three-piece set. You can get for like six and change on eBay, so it's relatively cheap. But I want to thank you guys for jumping in there. And this is the weird thing, or well, not weird, I should say wild, is that you get to jump in there, man. You get to be part of it. And you get to see how we pull apart the pictures and find the things that may, yeah, to most people may look like a rock, um, but when you stop and analyze each and every little crevice, you know, of these so-called hills and rocks, uh, some of them ain't what they seem to be. Um, and not only that, we're going to be changing it up. We're going to be actually doing some pictures as well. Um, so we don't have this huge pan sometimes. We can actually narrow it and sometimes. So it can run anywhere between an hour and two hours, uh, uh, which is which is cool. I like it because it gets to we get to interact with our subs because it's not just my subs. It's other people on there that are doing uh, uh, the same work I do. Um, so they're able to comment, but you can follow along and see what we're doing as well. But anyway... Um, I just want to let you guys know that that's that's awesome that you guys jumped in there. I appreciate that. All right, this photo here is the one we're going to be talking about. This one here is, again, things are not what they seem. Um, and again, you can see this is from NASA and JPL or you know, uh, Jet Lab uh, Propulsion Laboratory. Um, let me see here. This one is, I believe, it's yeah, 1587. You can see it right here, and you can do the full resolution. Um, and then, of course, you can, you know, do this here. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in. And for anybody who doesn't know, you can just hit the control, the CTRL, and uh, your plus or minus next to your backspace on your keyboard, uh, and you can bring this right in. But um, you'll notice it's, yeah, it looks like pretty much rocky area, but uh, you're going to see a couple little things, and they're kind of vague, to everybody. It's just like, it's just not, it doesn't just stand out right away until you go over these things with a fine-tooth comb, then all of a sudden, bam, things these things show up. And there's another little weird twist you're going to like about this. So anyway, let's get into this. I'm going to go ahead and back out of this again. I'll go to reset the default, which is usually about 100%. So now let's go into uh, this one here. And if you can see, I actually made it a little bit bigger. You can see right there, that's the size of the photo. And that's at 50% right here on the lower left. You can see 50%. Just add some pixels and bam, at 50% we're still, and look at the size of the photo. And I do that for a reason, because I want to be able to zoom in and we can actually see this thing much larger without it totally breaking apart. So... The first thing I want to show you guys, I'll just jump right into this, is these things that are sticking out of this so-called rock or mountainside right here. They appear to be almost like a, what would you call it, some kind of door or something that would cover a window or, or a door opening. It looks like there's one, goes across, it goes two. I don't know if you guys can see that, but and you can see shadows underneath this thing. There's one, and like I said, there's two here. There's one, two, and they got the shadows underneath. I don't know if these are some kind of, almost like the, um, uh, you can see them here, almost like the the uh, submarine doors. But picture something like that with the missile. Uh, when they open up the doors, the missiles come out. And this is a perfect picture right here of it. You got one, two, and of course, you know, you've got the others here. Oh, just go ahead and slide to the side here. And you can see the other ones here, and they're all numbered, of course. Um, and you can see the way they open. Now, I'm not saying this, what we're seeing here in this photo is that. I'm just saying it's just how the, it has these doors that open like this here. Now, when I looked at this, I was like, what does that? And I'm going to go ahead and change up the... Uh, let me just back out just, just a little too grainy on my screen anyway. Um, what I did was I tried to color them differently, make them brighter, so you can actually see them pop a little bit more. And you can see right here, you've got this right here. One, two... And there's like a shadow under each of them. And I, I thought about that. I'm going, what the heck does that? Um, well, let's not to go too far off. Let's go right about here. And then I'll zoom in just a little bit. All right. So now I did this. But check this out. This is another thing that puzzled me. Look at the way the shape of this thing is. It's got this round piece here. 
goes like this here, and you can see it goes in a corner. My guess is it keeps going all the way around because you can see something right there. This thing goes like this here. See that? I thought that was pretty weird that this hillside would have these things. These happen, these happen, these happen to have, rather, these flaps sticking out, and they're both identical. It's not just one, you go, okay, it's just a piece of slab of stone sticking out, but these are two. And so I thought that was a little, a little strange that it would do that. I mean, what do you guys think? I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for everybody's running, uh, or running or using, rather, uh, these uh, small phones and tablets. Um, but you can see right here, like, there's this round circle. It's got this piece, and it looks like it kind of does this. And, of course, it stops right there. So you don't know whether, it, you know, it is actually going all the way around. But it would seem like this edge right here, I wonder if it was part of something much larger. And it looks like there might have been a third here, but it got ripped off. See how there's, like, there's an empty space? And there's one, two, and then it looks like there's a space here for a third. Now, I don't know what to, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But it looks like it would have another space for another one. And like I said, they appear to be like up in the air with uh, shadows underneath. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and change it again. And you can see where I kind of just whitened up the area here just to give you a better idea what the shape of this thing would be. Or at least what it may be. Um, I don't know. I, I just thought that was really wild. Um, so now here's another thing I want you to notice. Uh, well, at least check out it. Because I've noticed this when I first looked at this. I'm going, okay, I'm always looking for things that might be hidden in these photos. Now... I'm looking at this thing, and I'm going, okay, so I'm seeing this, what looks supposed to be a beaut, I guess. Um, but this is what stuck out. This is what you guys got to pay attention to, because this is wild. Um, I don't know what this is, but I, I brought it out as best I could, and to me, it looks like a doorway. Now, you go, doorway where? Well, I don't believe this is flat ground here at all. I believe this is actually standing up. And when you look at this piece here, check the way this thing does this. It's dark, but look at the lines. Goes down and goes back up. See that? More importantly, if you look, you guys can get this yourself, this photo yourself, and just check this thing out. Because what's really bizarre is you've got another, you got like these lines going off. There's one, I think it's going this way and going up. It's just, guys, come on, watch this. It has this weird doorway type thing. And I'm going to go, I'm going to switch back so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Right here. See the way that thing has this outline, and it just happens to be in a door. It looks like a door in the middle of nowhere. Or is it actually something there, and they've just blotted it out? They may just look like it was flat, and there's clearly nothing there, but yet it's actually vertical. A lot of this stuff, I've said this before, a lot of this stuff is fake. And I don't mean the, fo the whole photo is just the way they're, uh, you know, uh, uh, obscuring it, um, you know, using any manipulation they can obfuscated but i mean and then when you look at this piece here these these things up here on this hill right here on this hillside if you will um which i don't believe a lot of these are uh, that at all i don't believe they're buttes or hills or at all i think they're being doctored up and they're hiding things which are really there and you know you got these little flaps and you got this here this doorway what looks like a doorway now it looks like it's more vertical than a flat ground leading away from this. Now it looks like there's something more, uh, that's something uh, that's actually vertical as opposed to horizontal, rather. So, but check that out. Now, I didn't put that there. That's, that line is there. You can see it. Going all the way down right here, going all the way back up. And it has a curvature. See, like, see how it curves right here? This side does the same thing. What's the chance of that being symmetrical? A line, this almost invisible line, and then you've got this line going up over here. And when you, like I said, look at this, boom, goes up and over here. I, I couldn't tell you what this is. To me, obviously, of a doorway, first thing you think of is what? A building structure or something of that sort. So I want you guys to tell me what you think it is. Um, and also, too, if you guys are using these um, uh, small magnific uh, magnification pieces here, whether it be a regular magnifier or these eyepieces, take a look at this in this area right here. You see what looks like a little pipe or something that's round right there. There's a, a couple of little, in fact, I want to look at it right again. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple little things just laying right there on the ground over there. But over here, things that are literally hidden inside this area here, again, they make it look like it's flat. Like you can go over to this, this other butte, if you will, and check it out. But look at the way that thing slopes down like this. Look at this. See that? But it looks like it's got something right there, a little black line, but it comes down. There's something right here. But to me, this is not, and there's that little tube type thing. You see it's round, but it has, looks like it's got a, it's like kind of tubular kind of thing going on. But let me see here. And there's something else. But once you, like I said, I don't believe a lot of these things are flat. 
It's to try to give you this idea of two things is happening. What they're trying to do is they're trying to give you this uh, idea in your head that this is a distance away by making it flat. But number two, it's actually something there and they're hiding whatever it may be. So instead of it being horizontal and just flat ground, it's actually vertical. Um, and like I said, I'm not, I didn't do anything in this photo. Here it is. Right there. This is, this is the raw photo right there. And you can see that line going down, going across, going back up, and then kind of curving back again. So this is symmetrical. I mean, you can just see that line. And then you've got this piece going up like this here. So you guys tell me what you think that is. I mean, <laughs> there you go. I mean, you know. And like I said, coupled with this here. Oops, my bad. I don't mean to make you guys seasick. I'm sorry. I sound like I'm in a hurry, guys. I'm just... Uh, I was actually doing some things around the house here. I just did some more work on my bench here. I uh, uh, just added a couple little toys there. For basically, the man cave, not the man cave, but the man corner, if you will. Um, I set myself up an external speaker, which is better for voice on the shortwave radio. So I want to listen to shortwave and uh, sideband and everything else. It uh, actually helps. And, I, and, of course, I got an internet radio I threw over there, which I already had in a box. I wasn't using it, so I decided to take it out. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I've been doing that, and I've been doing a couple of things around the house to get done. So I apologize for being in a hurry like that. But nonetheless, this doesn't have to be that long anyway. Um, you can see, like I said, this, this area alone, these right here, one, two, with the shadows underneath, this weird shape like this, almost round, and it stops. You can see like this, but it, it almost looks like it does this. Now, again, I can change the color of it, make it a little bit whiter, zoom in a little bit, and it's one. Two. What's the chances of two? I mean, one, you go, well, it's just a slab of rock sticking out. No big deal. You know, move on. I mean, even this piece here, look at this. Excuse me. Right here. And I wouldn't be surprised if this background here is also part of this foreground. They've done that before, too. But this looks like some kind of weird piece of steel or something. Just kind of, kind of like, just sloped over, kind of bent over kind of thing over this hillside. Um... But again, like I said, it looks like one's missing right here. What do you guys think that may be? Is it, you think that is some kind of weird, I want to use the term trap door for lack of a better word, or some kind of like um, almost like a god towards an opening. Like in other words, if let's say there was glass there and they just closed these for like, you know, keep the sun out and any kind of radiation or any of that sort. But let's say it's none of the above. It just seems a little bizarre that these things just happen to be almost identical. And it looks like there's another spot for another one sitting right here. Almost like a th the third one got ripped off or something. I don't know. Um, but you tell me. I mean, you know, this is what we're here for, to analyze these photos together. I find what looks like strange and kind of stands out of nowhere, uh, out of, the, uh, out of the, uh, the, the rest of the area, the terrain, if you will, um, and then bring it to you. And then you guys analyze it and, you know, uh, and, and then tell me what you think it is. And then, of course, you've got this right here. Like I said, this weird what looks like a door because you can see this kind of curves right here. Go straight across and does the same thing on this side. And there you go. And like I said, I've, I've changed this up a little bit, the filters, to try to bring in. This is the original. This is lighted up so you can actually see these a little bit better. At least the shape of them more. Right there. A little bit of blur so this way we can actually uh, zoom in a little bit. But we'll just come back out. And then, of course, we got this what looks like a funky doorway in the middle of nowhere. So you guys tell me what you think this is, man. I mean, I've seen one too many times this stuff right here. It's not, this is not a horizontal. This is not a, this is not a flat plane. It, it turns out it's something actually standing there. And this thing looks like some kind of weird door. What is it? I don't know. Uh, you tell me and this thing here too. These two objects, which looks like they're just, like I said, they're both on the side of each other and they're doing this. They're kind of like, it's like this here. Look like they're just straight up in the air. Looks like they can close and open up. I don't know. I'm not sure to be to be honest with you, but when I seen that, I was like, what? And of course, like I said, these buttes are not buttes, guys. They're actually part of something. And even if it is a hill or a butte, something clearly is in this thing. Uh, it's either, you know, kind of just been made part of due to weathering or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But you guys tell me what you think it is, really. I mean, and uh, like I said, I've got some other videos coming up. I'm, gun I'm trying to knock them out. I'm trying to get them there, uh, get them done. Uh, again, we're also on that show there. My buddy's there, uh, Mars Moon Space TV. Um, you can check that page out. Um, and like I said, we're going to be using regular, regular photos as well as Gigapan. So you guys want want to be part of that? Join in with us, no problem. But uh, tell me what you think this is, guys. I'm going to just back out a little bit. Go like this here. 
give you an overall. Here's some pieces, there's two what looks like lids type things. And then, of course, you've got this weird thing that looks like a door. I mean, what could that be? I don't know. It's just it's just weird how it just happens to be like that. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. Um, I want to say again, thank you to the to the uh, my subs that did join us on that um, uh, that live feed over the weekend. I do appreciate it, um, and I hope you got some information on it because we we covered everything from what we thought was going on Mars to how they go about you know uh, manipulating these photos, so on and so forth. So it's not just pictures, and you're just sitting there, oh, okay. And, but you're following along, you're picking out stuff yourself, which is what we do. And, and you can see how we actually scrutinize the photo and pull these things out. But you're able to ask questions too. So anyway, guys, got some, like I said, I got some videos coming up for you. Don't worry about that. Uh, they'll be up in, uh, within another day or two. We should have another one. So uh, no problem. I'm trying to get on this thing. I know I've got things I'm doing here around the house. I actually might be changing jobs as well. Uh, that's a whole different story. Some people just can't pay mortgages on, a, on an actual business, if you will. That's a whole different ball game. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go for now, and I will uh, I will see you in the next video.